Hello, welcome to another video by LSX, LSX Engines Tuning and Marine. In this uh, video, this is the third stage of a uh, teardown of a Merc Cruiser 3.0. I just want to show what, uh, what's been done so far. Um, since the last video, we have removed the, uh, the starter down here, servers here. I removed the fuel pump off the side of the block and uh, removed the Move the thermostat housing off the front of the head right here, and uh, this bracket go, holds the. Uh, that's what adjusts the power steering pump. I just pulled the thermostat housing out from under that bracket, and left it on there so far. The reason we've left the power steering pump on there is because it's full of fluid or it's still got fluid in it, and uh, I don't want to deal with uh, draining it just yet. So we left it on. What I'm trying to do is get the cylinder head off. I'm taking this to a machine shop tomorrow for uh, cleaning and general checkout. To check the condition and uh, so that I'm primarily focused right now on getting the cylinder head off so that's why I've left some of this the water pump and some of this other stuff on the front it's not it's not bolted to the cylinder head so the last thing I've done so far is uh, also we took off the exhaust manifold there was two studs here a bolt here a bolt here there was not a bolt there and there was another stud back here so once those are all loosened up the exhaust the uh, manifold which is down there came off and you have to be careful. This fitting down here on the bottom right here is plastic, so you can't just set it straight down that. It might break it. Um, so but you have to be careful about that. So the next, also, I took off each uh, valve rocker, rocker arm, uh, loosened the stud, took the rocker, the stud, the ball, and the push rod out. And what, I, what you have to do, they all have to go back, or they should all go back in the same hole they came out of. So what you do is you label them. Put them in a bag, each individual, each group in an individual bag and label. So you can see that says 4E. It stands for four exhausts. So this would be one exhaust, one intake, two intake, two exhausts, three exhausts, three intake, four intake, four exhaust. So you got to make sure that you label the bags and put the parts in the right bag. It's very, you got to be very methodical about this. So the head's ready to uh, be unbolted, and we're going to take this head off. So you unbolt it in the same pattern, in the opposite uh, pattern that you tighten it. I believe it's one, two. I'll, I'll have to find out what that is, but I don't remember. I don't have the uh, pattern memorized. But um, when I take this, the cylinder head off, you have to do it the pattern. I know that uh, I believe that's nine and ten. Excuse me, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, yeah, so, okay, so I can go backwards, can't go forward. So uh, that's the pattern, and you take them off. You take this one off first. When, when you loosen it, you take it, you loosen them in the order that you last one, last one tightened, first one loosen. So 10 is loosened first, and I loosen them in three stages. I just crack it loose the first time around, crack it a little bit more loose the second time around, and by the third time around, it's fully loosened. And uh, so that's, that's how I do it. And uh, There's no manual that says you have to do that. It's just I like to loosen things up gently the same way they were tightened. So that's it, uh, about to pull this cylinder head off and we'll uh, call it a night on this uh, particular teardown uh, just cause um, it's getting kinda late and we uh, are taking this to a machine shop and we'll be getting back late tomorrow night. So thanks for watching.